Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to Mark Needs a Haircut. On today's episode, I promised you guys that the second a new update comes out for the OnePlus 9 Pro, I was going to cover it, so here it is. In today's video, I want to show you what changes OnePlus made to the camera as well as show you guys a camera comparison against the 12 Pro Max. Improved HDR effect in some shooting scenes and improved the white balance. These were the same exact updates as the last firmware update, so I'm not really sure what what's going on. I kind of wish OnePlus didn't keep us in the dark and I kind of wish that they gave us some sort of notes because saying things like improve the HDR in some shooting scenes is a bit generalized. Like what scenes are you talking about? Sunny? Night? Dusk? Dawn? Twilight? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Nah, not really. The update was pretty short. I downloaded and installed it in like 10 minutes. Um, so if that means anything to you, there you go. And uh, yeah, let's get the comparison started against the uh, 12 Pro Max. OnePlus has had a ton of opportunity to fix the camera, so there should be literally no excuses. Um, it did pretty good against the iPhone last round. So let's see how it is after all these camera updates. Now, I usually do a voiceover when uh, showing you guys the comparisons and, you know, I would give you the specs of each phones when it comes to their, their respected cameras. But I've already done that in the last video, so I don't want to bore you guys. I'm just going to shut up, let you guys see for yourself which phone did the best or which one you prefer. And then we'll move on to the video side of things. So front facing video is a different story. Actually, it looks like the iPhone's blowing my, blowing my, um, wow, that, that came out wrong. <laughs> it's blowing out my cheeks and the OnePlus is actually doing better with HDR, but it's more zoomed in. So which do you guys prefer? If we move the iPhone over to 4K 30 on the front facing camera, then the HDR is a little bit better. Uh, which is which makes sense because the uh, OnePlus can only do uh, 1080p 30, which is which, which is kind of embarrassing to be honest in 2021. So this is 4K 60 on both of the OnePlus 9 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now the OnePlus 9 Pro was very good with video stabilization in the last update, so I guess we'll see if it got any better with this update or not. So currently I am just walking my normal. Uh, pace and now we're gonna try running and that's about as much fuel as I got in the tank <laughs> oh god I need to start exercising so this next test may be a little bit too unfair but we have the iPhone set to 4k 60 and the OnePlus is set to 8k 30 and honestly, from the looks on the screen, I have no idea how it's gonna be like when I'm editing the video, but at least on the screen, the OnePlus is still more stable, even when recording 8K. That's crazy. Let me go ahead and stop. Let me go ahead and uh, zoom in in post. So I'm not zooming in on the phone. I'm zooming in on the actual editing program. And let's see if the 8K really is actually substantially or substantially better or or is it just a gimmick so by now it should be fully zoomed in and uh, let me know which one you guys prefer i will always be impressed with a oneplus 9 pro portrait video it is insane how accurate it is it looks like i'm really recording from some sort of high-end well not really high-end but a camera nonetheless it looks amazing I mean, look, I can like turn around, move quickly, and it just still blurs the background perfectly. So which phone do you guys think did the best? Uh, I personally don't even know yet because I didn't even do the test yet. I'm recording this footage first and then going out, taking some photos. So I don't even know which phone won. So help me out and comment down below. As I've said, OnePlus had tons of time to fix the camera. Um, it was pretty good to begin with, but a lot of people had complaints, uh, so they are improving the camera. Uh, so they've had tons of time to do so. 
so how did it fare up against the uh what seven month old iphone seven eight lost track so again leave your comments down below this was mark from mark stack adios